Hey everyone, welcome back to another video review. Today I will be reviewing the General Giant GameStop exclusive Stormtrooper Classic Mini Bust from Star Wars Episode 4 A New Hope. Before I begin with the review, I just want to say um, my apologies with the camera situation right now. I'm not sure how big of a difference you will be able to notice. I'm actually using my Samsung Galaxy S6 because I somehow forgot all my memory cards at home. So I'm not able to use my uh, DSLR camera, but luckily I can upload videos straight from my phone to YouTube and you know, we can still get a pretty decent review out of um, this situation. So as you all know, um, or at least the one to, or those of you that collect General Giant, you know, they've been having GameStop exclusive mini bus for the past um, couple of months. I want to say maybe November was when they came out with the Darth Vader classic minibus, which I have right here as well, um, and I'll bring into the shot so I can kind of compare the two. And these have been a way to bring back the, I guess, affordable minibus for people. As you know, for those that collect General Giant minibus, they have gone up in price over the years, but in reality, you know, everything has from the cost of materials to shipping to gas to just everything has been going up, so it's a pretty common trend between General Giant, Hot Toys, Sideshow, um, even Hasbro we've seen with the action figures going up in price. So this is kind of a way to reduce the price while still presenting an absolutely phenomenal um, line of minibus that are still high quality and honestly are not that huge of a, I guess, drop off from what we've been receiving. As you, you know, we've been seeing these classic minibus are kind of like the first line of minibus that General Giant would come out with, basically the upper torso and um, no arms and then the base, but these are in 1-6 scale, so they present much, they actually are much larger, so they do present in a um, wider volume, I guess, um, and they are pretty heavy as well. They don't seem to be hollow or anything, um, so you know, when you do pick them up, they have a pretty decent weight to them, as opposed to, you know, some of the regular minibus are actually, or at least they do seem hollow, um, so they are lighter than these. Anyway, so let's get a closer look at the Stormtrooper. Um, I do have the Darth Vader review up already if you want to check that out. So I'll put that off to the side for now. And then let's take a quick look at the packaging. So just like with the um, Darth Vader packaging, we do have the GameStop exclusive logo right here. And we have an image of the minibus. And then the logo at the bottom, or you know, the whole the details and the title of the piece. We have a side shot there. We have an image of the stormtroopers on the Death Star. And then I will zoom in here if you want to pause that and read it. Just a little description of it. Another angle here, and you know, that's about it. And then this edition is actually out of 5,000, and this one is number 567. So, you know, as we're used to seeing at the bottom, we do have the um, whole, the General Giant label, the Star Wars, and the numbering as well. So, this is a really cool mini bus. You know, I absolutely love it. Um, I wasn't too worried when they first came out with these because I knew they would be different than the original classic mini bus line. So, I was really excited to see these. And there's something different and something unique to add. And in my case, you know, I don't have any... Darth Vader minibus and Stormtrooper, I only have one version of it. Um, so it's pretty cool to have these go along with everything else. Getting a closer look at everything, sorry about that, just focusing. It's an absolutely beautiful design, you know, even with um, basically just a, I guess a half bust if you want to call it, um, or however you want to describe it, they did not miss any details whatsoever. The beautiful paint job on it, there are absolutely no scuff marks, no paint blotches, no nothing on here. Um, the helmet is beautifully designed and sculpted, just like, you know, we see in the movie and from every other rendition of a, you know, episode four Stormtrooper. It's probably the most highly accurate Stormtrooper helmet and armor that, you know, we will see from any action figure or bust or statue. Just getting in a closer look here. So this is one advantage of having the phone. I can really go uh, up close and personal to everything. Getting the looks all right here. We have all the vents right there on the side, the gills, and on the bottom here. 
turning it to the side, you know, no detail has been missed. And, you know, I like to say a lot of times with pieces I have, they are so simple. And, you know, a lot of companies do mess them up, like Hasbro, for instance. Granted, it's a $20 action figure, but when you take a look at the classic Kenner line compared to Hasbro, Hasbro is just going down the drain. It's quite sad, but luckily we have companies like General Giant who will present you and give fans the best high quality pieces from, you know, just absolute phenomenal movies. Getting a closer look at the torso and here at the bottom or the chest, I should say. We got the back plate. Let me just lift that so you can see the bottom. And then getting an image of the base of the bust. Actually, you know what? I just realized too, I didn't know they had the um, Empire logo kind of in a, almost like a tripod stance. I always thought they only had the um, the one logo here, but um, you know, that's pretty cool. I didn't notice that. So you kind of get almost a 360 view of the logos in the back isn't much going on there. And in the base as well, it's pretty much um, like, you know, I've said that the Roman Greek classic statue or bust, um, bust-esque style, if you want to call it, and kind of the uh, layered base right there. So that's about, about it for, you know, this mini bust. There isn't too much going on. Um, pretty simple to see it all and understand what's going on. And it's a pretty cool piece and I absolutely love it. And here we have um, have them next to Vader. Let me bring that side by side. So they are just about the same height. I measured the trooper and it stands about seven inches tall and about five inches from the widest part of the shoulders there. So I'm gonna assume Vader is maybe 7.2 or 0.3 inches. Try to get at an angle where you can see that. And then getting him, you know, right there, you can see he is pretty much bigger and granted, you know, Vader is such a large character. Um, he has the bigger shoulder pads and the cape and everything just get these two side by side or well side by side for us but you know back and forth to them so it's a pretty cool new line we have from general giant highly recommended um especially for the people that have been pretty much i want to say complaining because a lot of them have been complaints you know nobody bats an eye when hot toys raises their prices to you know four hundred dollars for the same iron man figure but at least General Giant is giving us new and improved mini busts, sometimes of the same character, but they have been, you know, different designs, different poses. And in this case, we have the classic mini busts, which are just absolutely beautiful and really are a talking piece to, you know, any collection because they will be stand a standout line or standout set from everything else. So, you know, in my, in my collection of shelf, I'll probably have them lined up somewhat like this, you know, the trooper behind Vader. Um, they do have the PGM Shadow Trooper, which if you are a previous PGM member and renewed it, that is an option. Or if you're looking to join, um, that one is $80 for the year, plus you get all the coupons and benefits of convention ordering and whatnot. And then they also have the um, Boba Fett Classic Minibus, as well as the TIE Pilot up for pre-order from, from GameStop and the Stormtrooper should be available. General Giant was a little bit late announcing it. Um, I just happened to check the GameStop website one day and found them all. So do be sure to keep an eye out on that. Um, go ahead and pre-order these or pick up you know, the Stormtrooper at your local GameStop. And thank you all for watching. Again, um, hopefully the camera on my phone doesn't change too much of the quality, but if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below and be sure to follow, like, and subscribe on all my pages. Thank you all.